Hello, here is Moon and I have a mark number six, a challenge log from Peace Weapon. And yeah, while well, it was picked just now, I was playing around with it, but I now want to pick it on camera. First open I had a couple of weeks ago and just laying around and I guess it's time for it to be opened on camera. Haven't looked at the key yet. Just the engravings. And there are nice QR codes for challengelogs.com and for some photos. And yeah, <clears throat> let's see if I can open it on camera. All right, let's go. Okay, something's binding in the back. And it already bites quite hard. So it needs rotation. I am doing it just with a pick several times over the pick. The rear it's already a bit down. Okay, and a full set. Let's check what's going on there. The rear two feel like they might be set. One is springy, two I think is also springy. As is number three. No, three maybe not quite. something further to the back. Okay, number five went down a little. And I think I might have lost the full set. But maybe some pins are further down than they were previously. Maybe something was overset because I let go and returned into full set I had before. Okay, number one seems to be binding. Click and it's down. Two feels good. Three feels good. It's number four now. And click there. Now they're clicking one and more full set. It's number two that feels to be binding. Okay, click. Another click with lots of manual counter rotation. Let's check the back again. And the rear ones are up again. I think four and five. It feels like it's five pin lock. And it's open. 
Ha! Uh, and I just, all right, I get it. I guess I'll have to pick it a little bit more. Because I want to show through 60. Yeah, it was just pin 1 that dropped. Okay. And 360 degrees. Yay! Now let's have a look at this key. Yeah. Hand cut. Quite nice. Well, pretty much what I felt. Just a um, little bit down in the first. Then, or well, that's American terms. First one needs to be lifted just a little bit, second a lot, and then progressively more and more to the to the back. Nice, let's see how it works. Yeah, very smooth, of course. That's professionally made challenge lock. Of course it smooth. Let's see the clip. I don't know if my shim is long enough for the score. For this body. I hope it is. is that that's typical piece weapon magic there are there is two part key pin with yeah what is that serrated outer key pin with a hole in it and in this hole the nail goes in that's crazy that's the first key pin ah. and it's so tiny everything that i'm trying to understand was it completely handmade or did he use something? I think it was completely manually made. Where in? Oh crap. All right. Here it is, the rest. Serrated number two was deeper serration number three I guess it's meant as a um, overset trap I wonder where the, why they are rounded I guess it's to make oversetting easier and a tip in on five and I actually did overset this one I think or maybe well one of them all right, now the drivers. Um, I might, I better do it manually. It's not a stock lock. That's, that's what a three part pin. Get that that's the lowest part. There is a ring. I'll have to ask which way it goes because the serration is not quite symmetric. And it goes on this. So 
so it's kind of not crimped rattlesnake was a T pin and actually it did catch on it very nice second one is also pin and pin was a serration and a nail like inner man he loves those and it's spring loaded too crazy I didn't feel the spring though impressive pin work very impressive that's a spring for number one number two What's that? Crazy serrated spoolish thingy. Awesome pin work. Another spring. Another serrated spooly whatever i don't know how to call these pins they are extra special piece weapon pins and finally the last one and jumped out another serrations or serrations or serrations pin i would guess it goes with t part to the key pin but i'll have to confirm it or well i might actually i probably will not have to confirm it was piece weapon himself rather i will use one of these qr codes and go watch some pictures and the last piece, the core, of course it's threaded and counter milled, namely number two got counter milling on top of threading. I hope it can be seen. So they are all threaded and number one is over milled, number two is counter milled. So Every little trick that Peace Weapon has went into this challenge lock without making it unpickable. So yeah, enjoy the pins once more. And if you stayed for this long, thank you for watching.